Blog Talk Radio. Hello out there, everybody. It is Tuesday, May 15th, 2012. I am David Demzaski, founder of the Financial Bin and host of Financial Bin Radio. Now, before I introduce you to our guest today, let me share some quick notes. As always, don't forget to pick up your copy of Entrepreneur Intervention, Triumphs and Failures of Entrepreneurs. You can do so, just 99 cents, on Kindle, Nook, iPad, and other e-readers. You can also get a paperback copy for just under 10 bucks at Amazon and CreateSpace. Go to FinancialBin.com, click on the book section at the very top next to the login button for more information. Secondly, we are in our the finalization process for Landlord Intervention. This is a book by a gentleman who has been in the real estate rental business for over 20 years. He gives you a fantastic step-by-step how-to guide for you to begin your own career as a landlord, and we plan to release this book later this month or in early June. Now, let me introduce you to today's guest. His name is Jiva Ramaswamy. Jiva is the author of Creating a Portfolio Like Warren Buffett, a high-return investment strategy. He is also the managing partner of GJ Investment Funds. Just go to gjfunds.com. GJ Funds is an investment fund modeled after the original 1950s Buffett Partnership. And Jiva joins us right now to talk about his book. Jiva, welcome to Financial Bin Radio. Hey, David. Um, glad to be here. Oh, we're, we're really glad to have you. Now, Jiva, the way we do it here, we just kind of jump right into it. So the first question I have for you is can you take us through your background and just kind of give us a little brief account? Yeah. Um, actually, I'm a, a software engineer. I came to the United States in '98 as a consultant, um, but I was um, investing, reading Warren Buffett books and annual reports from childhood. Um, so I started investing my own money um, in the side, generated very good return. Then I started my own company, uh, built it from scratch to up to wow. three million dollar. Um, back of my mind, I want to start my own investment fund because my personal return was very good. Then started um, the GJ Investment Fund um, in November 2008 when the financial crisis happened. So last three and a half years return is very good. So, Jeeva, can you tell us why did you finally decide to write the book? Um, The reason is um, there are um, three reasons. One, I want to educate the investing public how to do the stock market investing using Warren Buffett principles. Because when I came from my software industry to investing, I read a lot of books which is available in the market, but I couldn't able to get step by step book how to analyze the investment, where to look for it, how to manage the portfolio, those kind of things. So I struggled a lot. I did a lot of re-engineering Warren Buffett investments. Then I I put all those things um, in the book. Um, That is uh, one reason. The second reason, after my fund uh, success, market beating return, I used to get a lot of emails and calls and asking about how did you generate um, this kind of return. Um, Then I decided to write a book. Then I put all the information, how do I analyze, um, how did I manage uh, my portfolio, how did I generate that kind of return. So I put all those examples and my picks in the book. So whoever uh, reading the book, they can get a lot of information. So can you can you kind of give us maybe a summarized version of what Warren looks for, you know, in, in as layman layman's terms, if possible? Um, yeah, the first thing is you have to understand the business um, which you are going to buy. The business should be simple and understandable, and also you should have a decent idea how the business will look like five, ten years from now. Um, sure. That's the one thing. Second thing is the business should have a moat. Uh, moat means um, it should have a brand or a patent or something like that. Say, take for uh, Coca-Cola, they have a, a world brand. Um, it's occupy the share of mind of uh, consumers. So you need to sure. look companies like that. The company should okay. be profitable and also run by the honest uh, management and also should be available in a reasonable price and bargain price. So when you buy the companies like that and hold it for a long time, you can make a lot of money. So, so GV, you know, you, you wrote this book. You're out here trying to promote it. What, what's your ultimate goal with it? What's your ultimate goal with the uh, book? Uh, ultimate goal is uh, just to teach investing public um, how to 
uh, behave in the stock market, where to search, and how to uh, research a company uh, step by step. In the book, uh, there is a uh, one item called checklist. It has a, like a 61 research item checklist. That right. checklist I created by my 20 years of experience. Whenever wow. I made a good investment, I took um, what uh, research item um, uh, that appeared on that investment, then I added to the uh, research checklist. Whenever I uh, lost money on particular uh, investment, then I went and looked at which item I overlooked, then I added those items. So that research checklist items, it's contained 61 items. It's created um, over period of time. So whoever buy the books and follow through that research checklist item, um, they will get the complete picture of the company um, before uh, they invest in the uh, company stock. So what, what kind of feedback have you received on, on, on your tips and, and maybe uh, in terms of both people that have read the book and then also uh, press that you've received? Um, yeah, I got very good, excellent um, feedback, and also I'm getting uh, every day a lot of emails from all over the world, some emails from uh, China, Australia, in U.S., um, asking about uh, some questions, okay, how to do this, how to do that, and those kind of things, and also thank you letters, okay, it's a practical book, and it's very helpful for me, or something like that, um, and also um, in the press, I got a couple of articles from like um, uh, investorfocus.com and a couple of um, websites. And also I appeared in the street.com uh, video interview and a couple of um, like radio interviews. Um, now it's, it, it's going good. You know what? What's that? What's that feel like, Jiva? You know, you, you come over to the United States. You, you know, you're you're trying to figure all this out on your own, and, and then you you know you, you you really you know you really took it to it to it to an extreme. You learned all the Buffett's principles. You're trying to help people learn them now. What's that feel like going from, uh, you know, going from immigrant now to success here in America? Um, yeah, that, that's the uh, beauty of America because if you have a talent, if you have an entrepreneurial spirit. Um, then you can uh, come up in life. Um, actually, I came like a forty-five thousand dollars consultant. Now I'm uh, worth like multi-million dollars. I did it through yeah. all my business ventures. Um, then, uh, because when I moved from software industry to fund management, I was skeptical. I was thinking how people will believe and give me money. But after I shown the performance after a year or two. Um, people have started giving me money to manage um, their money. Um, so if you are, uh, if you have an entrepreneurial spirit and if you start working on it, obviously you will get ahead in life. You know, I, I just got to congratulate you. It, it's really great to have someone like you come on the program and really be a true inspiration to people out there trying to figure things out. I mean, you really, you know, you you, you, you just took it to heart, you, you, and you really put yourself into it and. You know, you're a testament to why this country is is what it is and is so great and has been, uh, you know, for uh, over 200 years. I mean, it, you're really, uh, I really commend you for that. Thank you. No problem at all. So, uh, switching gears here a little bit, I, I really wanted to get your take on this. Uh, you know, we had the mm -hmm. Facebook IPO coming mm -hmm. up this Friday, May 18th. How would mm -hmm. how would Jiva Ramaswamy, how would Warren Buffett approach Facebook as a potential investment? Um, yeah, Warren Buffett doesn't touch um, too much technology companies because um, he lacks the uh, uh, technological aptitude, uh, attitude um, in the space. Um, it doesn't right. mean um, as a normal investor should not invest in technology space. Um, but in Facebook, uh, now the valuation is around $100 uh, billion. Um, and also uh, valuation, in my point of view, it's a high end right now. And also normal retail investors should not jump on Friday because as soon as the drought, there are a lot of hype, the share right. will jump. So whoever got in pre-IPO prices, they should hold it for a long time. So you have to think like um, another Apple or um, Google or something like that. So... If you planning to keep it for many years into the future, say five years, ten years, fifteen years, you can make a lot of money uh, from Facebook. But my advice is don't buy it on the day it comes out. Uh, take your own time. Uh, now it's a lot of uh, problems coming from Europe and those kind of things. Um, so 
investors will get opportunity to buy um, after some time. You know, it, it, Gene, is that, is that maybe your general take on, I don't know, maybe just the, you know, the, I guess the tech sector has been, I, you know, the past few years has been kind of hyped up. I mean, you have, uh, you know, you have LinkedIn that they came out recently. You have Pandora. Is that, is that kind of like, kind of like your general take? I mean, I mean, you, know, you, um, gotta, you yeah, really got to yeah. look long term for these play, for these companies. Yes, yes, yeah. Because um, I think Facebook is a winner. Um, I'm not saying it's not, it's going to go down a lot or anything, but there are a lot of hype in the market. Everybody is uh, sure. talking about it. Everybody is looking at it. So if something is very hot, um, you will uh, you will end up paying high price. So you right. should uh, take a long-term view and you should uh, try for entry price. Say, take for example, um, in the internet gray, grace period, Yahoo was used to trade like $500, $600 a share. Um, right. Whoever bought it at that time, if they hold it for many years, it might have lost 90% of their money. So yeah. you have to uh, buy it at sensible prices. That's the important thing um, Warren Buffett teaches that um, when other right. persons are fearful, be greedy. Um, when others are greedy, be fearful. So you need to buy a company's um, discount to the intrinsic value. That means um, if you calculate what is the company worth, you buy 25% or 15% discount to the intrinsic value, um, then you can make uh, money uh, during long term. So people should not uh, just chase the hard uh, stocks. That, that that is fantastic advice, Jiva. That that I really I really appreciate you explaining that to the listeners. Now, kind of jumping in, maybe transitioning. Well, kind of really staying along the same lines, actually. Uh, you know, just really quick. Uh, if you if you don't know, the the financial bin focuses on personal finance and entrepreneurship for Gen Y. And I really wanted to get your take on this because what would you say to the members of Gen Y out there who, you know, given the financial and economic environment, may be a bit skeptical about investing in the stock market at this time altogether? What, what would you say to them? Um, no, people should not go away from the market. You have to uh, monitor the market. You have to follow the companies, create a, a list of companies you are following, um, when the market gives you good deal, uh, you go ahead and uh, buy that security and hold it for long term. That's what I did uh, during financial crisis. Everybody was selling without thinking about uh, the company's worth because they were fearful. They were thinking that market go, go to go down a lot. Um, so people are selling in after the in September and first quarter of 2009. Um, people are selling. So I, I went and bought whatever money I had. I tripled uh, my money from that uh, 2008 or 2009 uh, crash times. So if when the market is in this array, um, you can buy great companies at bargain prices. So my uh, advice to uh, Gen Y is don't away from stock market. Just follow the market. Um, look for a um, list of companies Whenever it goes to the bargain price, you go ahead and buy it and hold it for long term. So just think about it. For the last 65 years, um, the Dow Jones, um, it went from uh, Dow 200 to 13,000 now. It's 65 times of money. So it may do in the future also. So you have to look long term. You have to buy a great company at bargain price and keep it for long term. And also if you know the particular company is a winner, you have to keep it. Say, uh, take for example, Apple. If you bought Apple stock 10 years back, if you kept it now, you might have made 50, 60 times of your money. So if you do a couple of investments in your lifetime like that, um, then you can make a lot of money and you can retire wealthy. You know, what I liked about the book, Jeeva, is that one of the things that you really focus on and drive home is the idea of being of approaching your investments almost like you're you're running a business. And I you know, I, I think that's really important because a lot of people would just eh, that's a stock. Let, let, let's buy that. That sounds good because, because they hear it on CNBC. So c can you talk maybe just briefly about the idea of pro approaching stock market investing as a business? Yeah, you have to approach stock market when you are buying a stock, you are part ownership in the stock. 
um the stock price go up and down um depends upon the particular day news event you should not worry about um the price action worry about the business performance so how the business is improving um their revenue is increasing what they are doing to improve the revenue profit margin you have to follow that company quarter by quarter um how they are doing it and also um, you should have a long term approach you should not uh, think that okay when you are buying at 10 dollars per share if it goes to 9 you should not think that oh i lost 10% i want to sell and come out i want to protect right. my right. capital you should not think right. like that you should think long term um then only you can able to make money um you have to think like a business owner if you are trying to buy and sell every day or every week <laughs> depends upon the price variation you are going to lose because there are lot of um, high frequency algorithms big computers and everybody in the market so you cannot right. beat those people and also it's not profitable also um so if you best way of investing is you have to find a great companies buy at bargain prices hold it for long term you can make lot of money that's what uh, warren buffett is doing all those years that's why he is very profitable so for example um he bought washington post um 50 60 years back he put around like 11 million dollars now it's around worth billion dollars so he didn't pay any taxes to the irs and he still holding it so he grown his uh, investment grown um big uh, because of that company grown so you you have to have a business owner approach so that's why warren buffett is doing good now he holds like berkshire hathaway owns more than 100 companies and also he is investing in the market he does the same thing so he bought coca cola and um, keeping it for uh, he bought it in 1988 he still keeps that stock so he didn't pay any capital gains to irs so that's the way investor needs to behave in the market Jeff, I got to say that is some fantastic advice. Now, just kind of wrapping up here, last question I have for you is where can the listeners contact you and buy the book? Yeah, um they can buy it from amazon.com and also Kindle also there. Um and also my website gjfunds.com, there is a contact details so they can send me email or call me anytime if they have any questions. Ah, oh, fantastic, Jeeva. I, I really appreciate you coming on. This has been some of the greatest advice that I think my listeners have been privy to. So I really want to thank you for that. And uh, you know, I I wish you luck with the book. Uh, it, it was a it was a great read, and I and I I look forward to your success with that. Okay, thank you very much, David. All right, take care, Jeeva. Thank you. Bye. 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 All right, everyone, that was Jeeva Ramaswamy. Now, make sure to check him out on gjfunds.com. And as you said, you can pick up his book, Creating a Portfolio, Like Warren Buffett, A High Return Investment Strategy. Come on, who does not want to create a return and have the success that Warren Buffett has had? Now, you can pick his book up, as he said, on Amazon and Kindle. And again, one more time, his website is gjfunds.com. Now, I want to thank you for joining us, and make sure to check out financialbend.com for the latest on personal finance and entrepreneurial advice for Gen Y and don't forget to pick up your copy of Entrepreneur Intervention and also pretty soon you get to pick up your copy of Landlord Intervention coming soon in a couple of weeks till next time I am David Domzowski thank you so much for listening take care